Welcome back guys to Trails in the Sky the Third, where last episode we just completed Star Door 8. All of us return to Erebonia, or the lead up to it, as we now continue deeper, or higher, or lower. I'm not even sure which way we're going because it's warping, warping everywhere into the luminous labyrinth. Like, comment, subscribe and all that jazz, supposedly, as a cheer comes in. Thank you, VHJ. As we continue on with a bit powered up characters, because I've used some of my Sepif just to like unlock some more slots. For example, Chloe has nearly doubled her EP supply by having new slots unleashed, which as our main healer, he says main healer, I kind of want her to have that stuff. But I've also put like Def Gem here on a to power up. Reese has just got some shuffle around of some stuff as well. I've given some extra mind just because she needs heal, but even though heals are set value, so it's kind of stupid to have mind free on her, to be perfectly honest. We got yin and yang there, we got scent, moved over to give ourselves the, the, the tier, etc. But Ren has now reached a ridiculous level of power because I've given her Divine Eye, which has sent Eagle Eye information, Septian Vein, and Fortune, and also gives us such things as the tier all, Gaia Shield, immunity across the whole field is always great. She's got Zodiac, she now has stuff such as uh, Geocatastrophe, Meteor Fool. Calamitous Blast. I don't think we've seen that yet. I've never used that spell, so it'll be interesting to use it. Dark Matter X, Lost Mobius, and more. So now we continue on with me wondering actually which way is up again, because I realized that we warped down a platform to get to where we are now, if I'm right in saying. So which way's forward and which way's backwards? <laughs> which way's up and which way's down? <laughs> oh well. We'll wing it. I think this way's back down, right? What is it? Oh, no, no! This is new! Hey! Treasure chest! Completely intended! Definitely, completely 100% intended. Right, we've got another Arch Devil in front of us, ready to give us a ton of experience, but it's more that Sep if I want at this point. Hey, if you get lucky, you get lucky, right? Alright, you can't actually do anything. That's very handy. Good job. Guys, come on. I'll just buff strength for the sake of buffing strength, I feel. There's definitely a guy in the background there. Let's use Dark Matter X, which is like Dark Matter, but also does damage, suctions people, and lowers their move. So that'll be nice. And then continuing on with another Dark Matter on you. We've moved the critical onto the evil devil, which is really bad. So hopefully all the spell damage might actually be able to kill this guy. If it doesn't, then I'm really upset. Uh-oh, I don't think it will. Which means we either leave the devil with a critical or we try to like nuke it. Oh no, well his move down might mean he can't reach us. Oh my god! He reached! He reached a lot! Ow! Well that will actually finish this guy off. Let's not vanish this person because we kind of want that. So I'll cast a- oh that tier rule isn't going to come out beforehand anyway. Can I get you to use a tier before a thingy happens? Before the bad times roll? Nope. Well, let's just Ren attack it. Aye! Free, free, free. That's half a 666 six, six for a devil. That's very topical. I should just, like, get anti faint on everyone at this point. These guys mess us up. Well, that takes care of that. Okay. Maybe I hadn't gone much farther than this point. The brilliant memory of Olazandri. As no one levels up. But a ton of Sephith. I'll take that. Right, what's in the box? Well, first of all, before we find out what's in the box, who's got the ingenuity on? You have? Okay, good. Let's use tier all, which only costs 35 EP. That's ridiculous. The top re's up to maximum again. I get an humble bracelet. Your sister here. Does Lao not shall not steal ring any bells? It's not stealing! These chests are just left out here. In the middle of nowhere. What's an Ambril bracelet then? 
Move, prevent smooth speed down. Okay, a bracelet of anvil that grants heaven's protection. Well, I've gone the right way to not miss a treasure chest, so uh, I'll take that. Lost as Andrew found a treasure chest straight away. Lost as Andrew's happy with that. So did we come from this way? I think we actually, yeah, we came from this way. We spawned that door. Did I then just decide to do that door rather than go up higher? Or did I decide to go up higher and then miss that completely? You know, it's not unlikely that I actually have messed up there. Well, let's send in our super physical damage dealers. Oh, instant death prop, 20% chance. Spiders don't stand a chance. At least those spiders give me the one type of Sepith that I'm lowest on. It's definitely the type of Sepith I need right now. So I'm very looking forward to it. Oh, we got a death blow no matter what on this thing coming up. Wouldn't surprise me as if Stell just knocked it out. We are if we keep getting death props and everything. Especially when it makes the battles that fast. Right. Oh, well, another red thing. There's a grimoire here. We haven't let one of these actually transform into anyone as of yet. Hey. Shall I keep avoiding this? Ha. Or let it happen? Uh, well, I don't want him to have an instant death proc, that's for sure. Oh, well, it looks like no matter what, if I just go by turn order, we'll kill it no matter what. So, let's finish the job. Well, rather than the death blow, I would like that item. Calamitous Blast! Do we have just a slow blur that would come out beforehand? No, nothing will come out before that. Oh, well. Farewell. You got enforced. To be fair, we got the item anyway. But I'm kind of interested in letting them transform, but it takes too long. Giardino has been found, just to see if it actually like gets us any good like bonuses, like experience or items or something like that. 26 out of 36. She sighed in a way that was half frustrated, half disappointed. She never cared about money. Why would he try to win an argument with it? She could only say quietly in her mind, my husband is an idiot. As do many women, or men, across the world. Giardino. Oh, an ATS boost by 150. Strength plus 900. So that's 100 boosts there. Range extra. A Templar sword that only specially chosen knights can use. I'll take the ATS boost for ease. That makes it even more hybrid at this point. Giardino. So I know I definitely haven't been along this path. No death blow for you. I'm pretty sure we just kill you no matter what we do at this point. Oh, that's Reese's attack. Whoops. Wrong person. There we go. He dead. With a certain someone's power, there's no chance for survival. Silly damage she does. Later, Coopsy! And two levels up again. Reese learned Chain Free and Chloe learned Sturm Free. Okay, 3000 Mirror. Empty. Someone must have taken the chest phrase that used to be in here. Probably. We're now at 237,000 Mirror. I sold some gear, some armor from the past. I wasn't so sure about selling weapons because we got, of course, like that special stuff like the Aeon Bow, etc. I don't know if that leads into anything in the future, but it seemed plot pertinent after all. But I didn't want to sell weapons so much, plus weapons don't actually sell for that much, which is really disappointing. I guess we'll go for the one in the back. Because Estelle I thought would one-shot it anyway. Obviously blatant lies. 
Blast. Calamitous Blast. I want to see it. We're going to end up horribly killing that poor guy in the back. He's already, like, no HP. Wait, have I seen that? I think I have. But is it really as cool as, like, Death Scream? When I think about it, yes, because it does give that ADF down. Ooh. Stat debuff that will enable all your spells to do even more damage afterwards. Can't say no to that. One thing I was wondering before I start this session, by the way, is that I've, um... Well, my, my characters are geared up now. Strongly in the sense of, uh... Dealing... How do I put it? They've all got, like, two characters have scent ability on them via Quartz now to get, like, their abilities to get their spells. To get enough Quartz. Whatever. Sepith. I can't. I, I suck. Let's put it this way. My sentences fail. Let's use Lost Mobius, maybe? To just take these two out nicely. Oh, it's even a, a range ability that I can choose. Nice. So I was wondering if that would cancel out the haze on yin and yang because we've got two scents, one haze. But no, haze still wins. So no matter how many scent abilities you have on your characters, it will not cancel out haze. Interesting. <laughs> you are the Terminator. I know that's not what you said, but that's what we're believing. She's the Terminator. Right, ah, oh, Sepith. 200 Mirage Sepith, that's what I want. Why are 12? Certainly, come on in. Hideko would listen to anything Sato had to say, but no one could know the horrible fate that awaited Hideko this day. What horrible fate? Ooh, ooh. This is an interesting place. Are we going to come across a stone now? Ah, I was right with my title of the stream. We are near the end of the Luminous Labyrinth. Most likely, anyway. After all, we'd already seen a fair few of these at this point, so any more courts can be made here? Not really that we have anything for at the moment. I mean, one of the things I'd like to make at the moment is this wood gem, but I need a lot more Mirage at this point in time, because it's got a lot of wind elemental value, just alone. MP4 ain't bad, but you want to go all- you want to go whole hog, don't you? You want to get a wood gem on someone. Onyx gem can now be made. Speed plus 50% movement minus two. That would be amazing on a caster. And I can make it right now. Someone who doesn't have to move much, but cast from a distance. Give them all that extra speed so they can cast even more often. I definitely couldn't make that before we got here. Hit five gem as well. Silver gem. Can't make any of that stuff because of my stuff. Ooh. Anything new in the shop? Unlike like any new weapons that we haven't already owned. Oh, the Rose Ripper here that I didn't even realize. A giant scythe with saw like edges across this blade. Is there any real point in me upgrading this at this point in time based on the fact that, well, maybe I could for the S-Crap, but if I'm going to get her to cast primarily spells, it doesn't seem like it'd be that big of an upgrade for me, does it? I worry, when you see like only a certain amount of attachments available, freeze, petrify, sleep and faint, if these are the things that I'm going to be facing in the future or not. So shall I save my money by not buying the Rose Ripper? I think I might just do that. Of course it will nerf her s a bit maybe, but... But do I just... I give her an action gem, but she's got all these other gems with all this massive amount of value on it. Do I give someone else an action gem? Like maybe Chloe, so Chloe can go faster. I mean, if I move 9% of my EP, 9% is only about 50 EP, right? 
Something tells me an action gem would be more useful than that. This is where I'm going to have to move out of the way of some spells and now, like, she's just crawling around the place going, I can't get out! I can't get away! Let's give it to her. It also might give her, like, some nice new spells, to be fair. The only problem is the EP gives a nice range of abilities, which we would be losing. So let's see what we get instead, because we can always put that Onyx Gem on someone else, except I'd need the slot upgraded. Let's just jiggle it around a bit. Move that. EP Cut can go there instead. There we go. So that would put up her speeds to 82. So what we'd have is a super fast Chloe. But what spells did I gain or lose? I've still got tier all. I've got big area recovery spells and Lacuria. I probably lost some nice other spells. Still got clock down. That's great. Aerial. Got white Gehenna. I feel like I might have lost some spells, but I think we can deal with that. So now we've got super fast Chloe. Will that help me for the future? My boss is coming. What is it going to be? That is my last warp here, isn't it? Luminous end. Well, let's hope I don't meet my luminous end. The only thing is Estelle isn't maxed out a CP yet. Oh. Estelle, you don't understand the terrors that that final warp means. There's our exit out of this plane. Doesn't look like there's anything standing between us and in either. Time to make a mad dash for the... Wait. Famous last words, Estelle. What's up? I can smell the distinctive scent of the underworld, and it grows stronger by the second. What? Are we going to get surrounded by magic circles then? No, this isn't going to come from a circle. It's coming from above. Yes, fights back off. Don't get surprise attack. Spiders? Oh, how cute. They're trying so hard to be intimidating for us, aren't they? <laughs> These are the three gluttonous Arachne sisters, kin of the 77 devils featured in the Testaments. They weave nightmares and consume the souls of those who wander into their labyrinth. So this is what real devils are like, huh? They sure look the part. But they're not going to be enough to stop us. Let's get nasty. Right. Oh, the small spiders? Oh, no, there's face huggers. We've got sh face huggers too. Just wondering, uh, what's the range of this again? Just wondering if I can coax any small spiders into their death. The face huggers move first. Shadow spider. Crawls rapidly and sinks its poisonous fangs into its prey. What do I start with here? Now, Holy Blessing heals 50% HP, but still 50 CP, and the Joe's KO with a blessing. That's great to have. I'm just wondering if I should nuke out first. Let's just start with a normal attack, because that does separate us a little bit. I don't want to get poisoned. Oh, they don't move that far? Great. Right, super fast, Chloe! What can you save me from? What are they weak to, actually? Are they weak to any spell type in particular? Okay, same stuff we've been doing before with suction, maybe. We can make that work in something kind of cool. So let's go with a Gehenna. On three of them first, maybe. Little face huggers are coming for me. We've got Supreme Hurricane, you know. Maybe I can prop death on some of these guys. Do you think that would knock them out of the range of the Gehenna, even though I hit the microphone there, which would really suck? Oh, they can get knocked back. Oh, we got death on the two small ones. I guess we'll deal with that. Okay. Dark Matter X. Do I want to suction these guys or not? I'm worried. It's their spell weakness. Curse Eye. They can attack from range no matter what. 80 delay. Okay. They can attack anywhere? 
Arachnos Evros is preparing to use Arts. It looks like Estelle might be able to heartbreak that beforehand. The Gehenna's gonna hit no one now. So they don't have a movement range. Okay, defense down now? Shazam! Shazam! I mean, suctioning them isn't even that great either when I think about it. Because movement down is going to do nothing to them. Alright, we've got one about to use a spell. We've got Arachne Goliath, Arachne Evros, and this guy in the back, Arachne... Arachne Felelia. Youngest of the three riding sisters, sets an evil swarm on foes and lowers her stats. So one does stats lowering. One calls her stats with her cold stare. And one calls for aid when hurt and screams on death. Oh. That sounds like I should kill Raya and Thalia before I should kill Evros. So that's a buffing scream on death and calls for aid when hurt. That sounds bad. Probably a good thing to note at this point. Okay. So it looks then like I want to kill you. So what I should do... Is maybe slow some of these burps down a little bit. Now, oh, lock down move. Blade net. Oh, impede! I'm going to stop you using art. True hard break now attacks in a circle. Okay, you've been annoying. It's good to know. Lock downing won't really work so well in this point. So actually, I'm going to go for speeding up she that will save us all. Or I'm just going to get impeded again. Oh, no, I'm there. Okay, speed down now. Nice HP heal there. So, target not you, but you and you. You've barely taken any damage at this point, so should we focus on that one, maybe? With the melee damage dealers. I mean, interestingly, we could just go straight into that Calamitous Blast to hit them all with ADF down. Oh, Petrify? Oh, she can get one shot now. Right, well, we need to cure you. I don't want you being petrified, that's for sure. No one's casting a spell, so let's just get through this. Had enough nightmares with petrify lately, thank you very much. Okay. Let's just kill them all at the same time. So we've got the power to do it. That seems like the safest play, right? On a critical. Do you think that'll work? I know how many we'd be killing on that turn. That guy needs to be beaten up more. That guy will die. That guy will most likely die too. So I think this one needs to be beaten the crap out of. I don't think we've got enough damage to do that. Wait, why are you attack that one? Whoops, wrong one. Good targeting. Actually, it might die. Depends if they all stay in that position. Oh, beautiful. I resisted something. Well, how much damage do you reckon this will do? <laughs> oh, that's how you do it. Oh, cool allies. There's a big spider now. Arachne Sigma. 
Mother of the Arachne Sisters calls for aid when injured, drains vitality when angered. That looked good. Ren is just ridiculous. Right, so how are we gonna go to work on these guys some more? I mean, no one's really doing bad at the moment. Let's just power up our casters some more. Do you think I can just get a clock down on it to slow it even more? And you're weak to the same things that you were before? Yeah. Technically, let's go with Calamitous Bass, then lower its ADF first. Inhale Vitality Cybell? What? That's a lot of HP! Now we got speed up and speed down! Okay, you're resisting that stuff, are you? You've got a bit more art defense. Okay, can't be status effects. Down. Can you cast your own craft on yourself? I can cast a tear on myself before the boss goes, but I can't cast anything else. That's a shame. What if you get attacked again? A bit worried about that. Is it the speed down that's hurting you quite a bit here? Can I get camphor on it? It looks like it would just straight resist it, to be honest. Uh, has the still been hurt a bit? Yes, but I can't get that out before either. I can get Tira out on her. So I can't give status down. So really I just want to hit you hard. Which probably should lead to me just busting out S breaks on her. It. Her? Yeah, her. Let's see if it inhales more vitality, yeah. Ren this time. So it's basically absorbing back every bit of damage we do, every time. Resisted death. Can't slow it down. Looks like that's all I can do then, isn't it? I have set it up so I am the most powerful I can be with certain spells and ability. Or hope it does a different attack entirely. And then just nuke it. I reckon we could just nuke it to death. Okay, let's do his different ability. Right, we'll kill it on this turn then. Ah, oh, impede! No, 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 no. You don't get to do that kind of crap. Not to me. Who do I heal here? I mean, you can literally tear all before this boss gets to move. Have enough HP to keep going. Get some more damage on in the meantime. I think it's dead. Hey. I'm just wondering if this turn I should cast the morale. Just to buff these two up before they do theirs. Guys, come on. And finish us up. Just wondering, can you do an attack up before anything happens? Obviously not. Let's use your Sanctus Nova, maybe. Hey, hey, why not? Oh, 
if this is the last boss. Oh yeah, I didn't think of that. Still quite a bit of damage. Do you think that's enough? I think we need 7k, don't we? Oh my god, we didn't do enough! That's enough! I was willing to use s craft to just finish the job. <laughs> Take some levels up. Reason an Arc Fencer 2 in the meantime. And we get a ton of sepic. Tear Bomb, Celestial Bomb, Insulating Tape, Smelling Souls, Emerald Gem. What's Emerald Gem again? Is that the Impede? Or is that wood? <sighs> what was up with that last one? That was so unfair. That must have been Sigma, the Free Sister's mother. And even she was not able to stop us, thankfully. What? What? <laughs> that looks like... Except it's a different colour, innit? Found a stealing stone. Another stealing stone, huh? I honestly figured Renz was going to be the last. Huh, so I was in a pretty stone like that when you found me too. I feel like a princess in a fairy tale. <laughs> you kind of were like a little princess, actually. I think this one may actually be different. The other stones had a strange sense of warmth when you held them. Not so for this one. Really? Is it because it has something bad in it? No, instead of the usual warmth, it seems to have a cool, almost divine feel to it. Almost as if it might contain the goddess herself within. Hm, sharp as usual. He's here! Who's that? So you decided to show your face, did you? The priest is still unconscious, I see. What a shame. I was rather surprised to find out that you can only use his stigma's powers against heretics. Even power of that magnitude is meaningless if it's so limited and has such repercussions. I almost pity him. So, the truth I wasn't expecting you to reach this point so quickly. Your final piece is inordinately capable. Oh, might you be referring to me? Thanks to you, I ended up having to make my appearance sooner than I was expecting. I suppose I should have expected no less from the host of Gransel's finest tea party. <laughs> That's very true. Regardless, I came to fulfill the duty and fulfill as I shall. Think of that stone as a gift for gathering all the pieces scattered throughout Phantasma. It contains not an additional piece, but a rule book of sorts that you may find beneficial. A rule book? That certainly explains why it feels different compared to the others. Could this mean that you're finally ready to face us head on rather than continuously taunting us? Whether that time comes is entirely up to you. But now all I will say is this. On the next game board, all of you will find yourself face to face with a number of trials to overcome. He's escaping again! Wait a damn minute! Is that what you've got to say? What kind of trials? Hmm. A variety in all shapes and sizes. Even I will be one of them. You? Really now? I eagerly anticipate seeing whether you're able to overcome them all and make it to me. Don't disappoint me now. Oh. It's almost as if you can't help but try to taunt us. He stays just long enough to say something cryptic and then leaves before elaborating every single time. Oh, I just love those types. Is something wrong, Estelle? Oh, it's nothing. Anyway, we might have got nothing but cryptic teases out of him, but we do have a new ceiling stone to unlock. I think we should head back to the garden and get to it. I agree. I'm quite curious as to just what this rule book is as well. Q. 
God, that's looking really crowded though, isn't it? Boss defeated. Didn't give me the trouble that a start did. The way it glows is pretty different compared to all the other seeding stones. You're right. I wonder who's going to appear out of it. Chloe? Is something wrong? No, it's just the light radium feels somehow nostalgic. Huh? That comes as no surprise. It's her. What? She looks like... I'm so glad I can finally communicate with you like this. <laughs> I wonder how many hundreds of years it's been since I was last able to hold a true conversation. Y Your Highness, wait. You, you aren't, are you? It's a pleasure to have the chance to meet one of my own descendants. And allow me to extend a hand of welcome to all of you, visitors to my garden. My name is Celeste. Celeste D. Ausleys. And finally we meet her. Alright then! Let's make a save and continue on to chapter 6. reached the Emerald City Church. How may I help you? Oh, is that you, Kevin? I didn't think you'd be there already, so I was just going to leave a message with the priest. Oh, hey, Rafina. Yeah, I got here late this morning. How about you? When do you think you'll be getting here? I'm going to be a little late, I'm afraid. There's been an accident or something, so the train's been delayed. I probably won't be getting there until this evening now. Gotcha. I'll wait here till you arrive. I think Reese and the kids would all get all bent out of shape if I showed up without you. Oh, please, I'm sure you're just exaggerating. Although, speaking of Reese, I hope you've been thinking about how you're going to cheer her up. <laughs> I've got it all planned out. I've been stocking up on souvenirs from every mission I've been going on. Should be enough to snap her out of her funk. Hmm, I wouldn't be so sure if I were you. Girls her age are more complex than you think. Yeah? I guess she's not really a kid anymore now that she's 13, but still. Actually, that's about how old you were when we first met, right? <laughs> now that you mention it, it was. How time flies. Sorry, it looks like the train's about ready to leave. I'm gonna have to go. I'll see you later then, alright? If you get bored of waiting, you're welcome to go on home ahead of me, of course. Got it. See you later. Man, how town flies is right. I've really not been home in two years. And I guess that makes nine since I met Rafina. <sighs> I have reason too grumpy when we finally get there. K Kevin! Was it, Father? Has something bad happened? Well... I just received word that someone spotted a group of men dressed in all black at the edge of town. What's worse is they were supposedly heading for the mountain path. You, you don't think... If they were, Aster House must be their target, I fear. Do you have any idea what could be going on? I wish I did. I doubt it's anything to do with the Growls of Jury, at least. I think I should go and check it out just in case. Please do. Oh, do you know when Rafina's going to be arriving, by the way? This evening, by the sound of it. She said a train's been delayed. When she arrives, can you let her know what happened? Damn it, Jaegers! Seems like there's anywhere between five and six. <laughs> five and six, yeah, five and six, five and ten of them. But what could they want with a gospel facility to begin with? The longer they're allowed to be in there, the more danger the kids are in. I'm gonna have to try and handle this alone. It's time to put my combat skills to good use. And why is it showing us that? We've gone back a bit in time a little bit with those kind of intros, because of course Rafina had passed the last time we saw. So what's going on now as we begin Chapter 6, The Guardian's Trials? Celeste? Wasn't that the name we saw in those data crystals? 
That's right. According to those, she was the de facto leader of the group of ancients who sealed away the Oriole. She was also the founder of LaBille's current royal family. <laughs> I'm glad to see the information I left behind ended up proving useful to someone. It... it really did. So then, you're really the founder of LaBille's royal family? Not technically. I'm not the real Celestia Elstis. Think of me as something of a shadow. Or a partial copy her personality created in order to influence Phantasma from within. How can you only be a partial copy? The truth behind you is apparently more complicated than we thought. You don't appear to be a spirit of some kind though. I see that now. That is correct. Before I try to explain just what I am, I should probably tell you more about what the world we are in is first. You can do that! <laughs> this should be interesting. This is why it's a rule bit then. As you are aware, the land in which you stand is called Phantasma. This is a world belonging to a higher plane of existence created several thousands of years ago by the Oriole. Its purpose was to act as a subsystem for the Oriole in order to incorporate and process the will of the Liber Arx populace. One might call it a self-organized world designed to realize countless possible others as necessary. Uh, pardon? You've lost me. Y yeah, isn't there a simpler way to explain this? Hmm. Well, while not technically correct, perhaps you could think of it this way. Phantasma is like a fictitious realm created by the Oriole in order to fulfill humanity's every wish and desire. That's better. What exactly qualifies Phantasma as fictitious? I can't help but think it far too real to be a land of pure fantasy. When I say a fictitious world, I don't mean to suggest that Phantasma is a complete lie. It's more like a shadowgraph or a kaleidoscope. It has its own laws and can change to reflect countless different possibilities. Does this make the concept any easier for you to understand? Somewhat, yes. And suddenly the name Phantasma seems that much more appropriate. As I said previously, it was a subsystem of the Oriole rather than being the Oriole itself, and it helped to grant people's desires. They were separate entities, but effectively like two sides of the same coin. The relationship caught our eye as we were devising the sealing mechanism. You mean the mechanism used to seal away the Oriole? That was also in those data crystals left behind. Exactly. At first we thought our plan would be impossible to execute. After all, the Oriole had absolute control over space itself and was able to influence mankind's every action. Even after coming upon the idea of temporarily freezing it and imprisoning it with a gravity barrier, we had no way to implement our plans. Without that, they were simply ideas with no real meaning. We were effectively at a total loss. We discovered your foe's weakness but had no way to take advantage of it. That must have been quite the frustrating predicament. Indeed. And yet our perseverance rewarded us with the development of something that could take advantage of that weakness. The Recluse Cube. Is that what this is known as then? Yes, that is the only object in existence able to interact with Phantasma without relying on the Oriole as an intermediary. So let's use that to create a partial copy of a personality, that is, me, inside Phantasma. And once inside, I began working to sabotage Phantasma's functionality by using this garden as my base of operations. As a result of my efforts, the Oriole's processing ability was hindered just long enough for the plan to be executed. Hmm. He who catches this foe off guard wins the battle. The same principle applies to martial arts too. It sounds like you really put a lot of thought into planning everything. <laughs> Maybe, but I can't deny that luck played a part in the end. Once the Oriole was sealed away, my work was done and I fell into a deep sleep here. My reason being that if the Oriole were ever unsealed, I might be able to provide assistance to the people of that time. I'm pleased you've been able to handle it just fine without my help, however. <laughs> luck's played a huge part for us too, though. We're not even sure where the Oriole is now. As far as we are aware, it disappeared during all that happened at the Labour Arc. I thought as much. I was able to confirm the Oriole's disappearance from here in Phantasma 2. When I did so, I thought my purpose for existing was finally over, and that all that was left for me in this land was to embrace a slow and peaceful destruction. But that was not to be. Soon the Lord of Phantasma appeared. Ah, so that's when it happened. <laughs> Quite a recent development. I see. The Lord of Phantasma appeared out of nowhere, stealing all of my power before I was even aware of what happened. After doing so, they began to remake Phantasma in accordance to their own designs. Both this world's current structure and the planes that make it up were all the Lord of Phantasma's creations. Looks like your theory is correct, Ren. Still, that makes it sound like... Yeah. So you don't know who that masked bastard is either, then? I'm afraid not. Their every action thus far has been a mystery. Ordinarily, they should not have been able to gain access to this world in the first place. And I'm afraid I have no idea what they are trying to achieve by bringing all of you in here and testing you. 
Well, that's a shame. Yeah, that's the part we want to know most of all. I only wish I could be of more help. The only other thing I can say about them is that I suspect the Lord of Phantasma is currently in the seventh plane. There's a seventh? What makes you think that? That was the first plane they created after appearing in this world. Just what kind of a place that plane is, I don't know. But I can sense dark and human thoughts from there, and they're spreading out across the whole of Phantasma. That doesn't sound good. And then we'll be seeing them after the next one, won't we? Yeah, we just finished the fifth when we came back here. Presuming they're waiting for us on the seventh, the time to fight them head on may not be that far off. <laughs> I was getting tired of waiting. As was I. It seems the end may finally be in sight. Now, if only we had some sort of inkling as to what the Lord of Phantasma is trying to achieve. Actually, I just might. He's up and about. Kevin's back. Kevin? You're up. It's good to see you again, Father. You too. Wasn't expecting you of all people to get an invitation here. Or you for that matter, little lady. I'm sure you weren't. I've got something I want to ask you. But I suppose I can wait until later. <laughs> for sure. Uh, are you sure you're feeling alright? Right as rain. Feeling just great. Well, that sleep must have done me a lot of good. And I see you guys made a whole lot of progress while I was out cold too. Yeah. Hey, I'm Kevin Graham. Well, maybe I don't need to introduce myself since you seem to know a thing or two about everyone who's come in here so far. True, I was able to tell what was happening at the library out from the gun. And out of all the people here, you are the one closest to the truth of what is happening here. Am I wrong? What? No, I don't think you are. I can't pretend to be much of an expert on what Phantasma itself is, but I've got a pretty good idea as to who's responsible for all of this. I can only think of one person twisted enough to put us through all we've been through. Wait, is this someone you know? <laughs> you could say that, yeah. The short version is, they're a real piece of work. A cunning, arrogant, cold-hearted son of a bitch who doesn't even see people as people. That about sums up who we're dealing with. S sounds like a real awful guy. Hmm, and who may I ask is it that you're talking about? Well, about that. Would you be willing to wait just a bit longer for the answers to that one? I'm pretty sure I'm right. But I'm still missing one last thing that'll let me be completely certain. And I think we'll find out just what that is in the sixth plane. <laughs> and here I thought we were finally going to get an answer. Is there a reason you can't share your theory as is? Yeah, I realise I'm asking a lot after we've come so far. But I promise that as soon as I know for sure, I'll talk. I swear on the goddess's name and on the church's emblem. Hmm. Well, I don't see any reason to say no. Likewise, he's clearly got his reasons. It's not often you ask us for favours, so I can let, so I can let it slide. No problem here. <laughs> if he says wait, I'll wait. I feel as though we can trust your judgement, Kevin, so I have no objections either. M me neither. I don't really care as long as I get to have my fun. <laughs> I believe we're all in agreement then. Yep, consider this one settled. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Anyway, now that I'm up, I'm also down to take lead again. And I'd appreciate if you back me up. No problem. It seems like you're all ready to move on. While you're advancing through the 6th plane, I'll do all that I can on my end to find out more about the 7th. Of course, if you need my support, I'll be happy to provide it through the cube and the monuments as I always have. Now you mention it, we haven't really thanked you for all the help you've given us since we got here, have we? Thanks, Celeste. We couldn't have done this without you. We truly are in your debt. Please think nothing of it. I am but a shadow placed here with a duty to fulfil. I believe helping you to be part of that duty. If I may, allow me to help you however I can. Will do. Sorry for worrying you too, Reese, but I'm just fine now. So please, just leave everything to me. I'm begging you. Only if you promise me one thing. What is it? I won't make you promise not to put yourself in danger or to overdo it, but don't do anything that would make Rafina sad. Ah, uh, you really know how to hit a guy where it hurts, don't you? So, will you promise? Yeah, I promise. I swear on her name I won't. Alright, it seems that now no longer is Reese a mandatory second character. So I think that we'll go without her for a bit. Let's select. Here we go. Because I don't want to keep moving stuff around and her current art setup is insane. <laughs> so why wouldn't I pick her? Right, uh, should we finally give... Yeah. 
Let's give Richard a swing. Understood. That's a melee damage dealer. So we got arts, arts, melee, melee. Should we say it up that way? Except melee Kevin. I mean, I really like Joshua in the party too because he's so all around character. Plus, it's just his S craft. It's beautiful. We need to make sure we have an impede. I'm g guessing Richard probably has an impede. We could put Annalise back in with her stupid super weapon. Stupid super. Some people are going to have to level up after all to get back in the party properly. Hmm. Makes me wonder. Never know what doors we're going to be facing next. We could take Teeter and actually try out a craft. Tita and Ren together. Should we have Tita as our physical? Maybe? <laughs> <laughs> have to level you up quite a bit. Hopefully there's no horrible battle when we get in because that's what screwed us on a start, essentially. I'm a self and but a shadow bound by the laws of Phantasma. As such, I'm afraid I'm limited what I can do. But I'll be sure to do all I can to support you in your efforts. Thank you very much. Right, we need to equip. We need to make sure our guys are as powerful as they could possibly be. Which means I actually have to rip some of the equipment off some other people at this point. To be able to power up other ones. So Reese is going to give me all their clothes, kind of. Take these. Do I bother giving you this? Oh, that's actually, yeah. Actually, let's get your CP risen as fast as possible so I can see what your S craft is. What was the other thing I had on him now? No, it wasn't that. Actually, you're spell damage, so I should take Chloe's stuff to you. The Crimson Eye and this, maybe. give you the Crimson Eye. Let's give... Oh god, I've lost what I was doing now. Prevents Confuse, ADF up. Strength 50. Sounds pretty good. Want a Tiger Heart as well. I kind of want those big ADF buffs on people as well, based on what we've seen. Do I give you the Tiger Heart, or do I give Tita the Tiger Heart? Make her ridiculous, stonkingly bang bang. That's a sentence that makes sense, isn't it? Red Seal. We'll give her that. Which is at 2,000 strength currently. There is that stuff for you that increases your ATS. That's why I've got that on you. This is the problem. Every time when we get new characters or anything like that, or switch characters, the amount of time it takes. ATS up, speed. Speed would be good, but... Yes, we're gearing you to be one of our physical damage dealers. We could give him ridiculous ADF at this point. So let's just give him the super. Yeah. That should be on a physical damage dealer. So you've got that. HS100 Prince Blind. Move Minds Mun. It's Poison. She has speed. Speed's never bad. Okay, cool there. Stealth, I need these. And you have the Mirage Ring as well, which is pretty good. I prevent Petrify, which is probably quite useful on what we previously thought, to be perfectly fair. Stringer O's, sure, you can have that. Actually, that would be better on Richard, I think. Even more movement, sure. 
So we'll give you the four skaters then. Tita has trekking gear. It's quite a big party swap when you think about it. Oh, they got some low defense at the moment. They need to level up like mad. There we go. Even Teat with a tiger heart doesn't exactly do it justice, to be fair. We need some new weapons. Maybe I want to switch that off rather than have that two extra range. And then it comes to the augments too. So we've got attack for it. I've never thought her stuff has been that great there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the death here. And I give that to Tita. I thought I'd be able to put it in there. Well, of course, okay. It's a 2-1. Wait. Oh, it's because I've got strike. That's the one. So I need to remove strike. So I also want... Ren's got all the good stuff at the moment, so that's not too bad. I want this. And this. And this, at the very least. And probably the cast gem too. Okay, let's have a look through. So we got time gem. Let's give Onyx gem there. I'll increase his speed to as much as possibly human. Maybe I could just replace you with that. Give you an even better one. But to be honest, that will give him more spells at this point. So that's fine by me. The Emerald Gem is the ADF up, ATS down. So maybe I'll give that to Tida. But then I need the slot for it. Don't we all? <sighs> Action 4, hit 4, fortune I've got on him, attack 4, emerald gem for the ADS, on evade 4 and HP up. Any gems can go in anywhere, pretty much. So we want the yin yang, well we want the sapphire gem, we want the yin yang, we want a strong wind element because that's how we get Latir and Latira. But we don't want that because I'll lower our ATS. We need to cast two. Let's actually even move that from there. Cast two goes into that slot. So we've got the Sapphire Gem for Mind. We want to buff his attack. These are always my questions right now. Give him an absorb for Lateral, maybe? Oh, EP cut, you idiot! Yes, EP cut four! The reason I'm having that. That's the last one I need. That gives me a lot of gem value after all. Okay, La Latia, Latira, we've got quite a few heals there. Ren's still a better healer, but then with Ren's godly abilities at this point, it's going to be insane. So that's you set up. Uh, to be honest, you're probably not that badly set up. I don't think they'd be much better for you, and then we want you set up. So let's take the Impede Free out here. Also the HP f as well. MP3 can go in there quite nicely. Eagle Eye isn't really needed. Because we've got that naturally anyway. That's actually to get to the point where we've, we have a lot of gems that just aren't needed anymore. And then we've got to check out everything else. Right, Tida. I need you to have some slot powered up. So I'll give you that one, and that one, and that one. Maybe that one as well. Just 
you can... No, we're fine there. Richard? I think it would probably be good to do a Richard one. And Kevin's pretty powered up anyway. I'm just going to end up using all of this. <laughs> Looks like it. Good, good, good. I think we're good now to move on. We don't have an attack extra gem. Do we want memory maybe? No. I guess the only thing left for Kevin would be an EP up. But to be honest, Ren's dealing with the majority of spell damage. Kevin is there as kind of like a backup ADS, ATS caster. With a little bit of extra mixed in. Tita now actually has some stuff. Our space caught us only. Ah! Yeah. Is there actually any good space courts? Apart from the gold gem and the EP cut range. That's why we had Eagle Eye. See, so having them locked in doesn't seem that good. I hit there. And if I wanted to, I could move this. And sh move that onto the shield 4 slot. And then give her the Emerald Gem for the ATS app. The ATS app? A A A T F up? What stuff do I have that's given me such negative ADF for you? What the hell? Because even now she's still only got 65 ADF. It's a tiger high, isn't it? Do you know what? I think a range gem or something like that. I don't know. What? I don't like her ATS going down so much. Oh god, who do I give this to? 